Well, holy smokes, it ain't no jokers, guys. The crap that is going on in the Call of Duty Zombies community. We got Call of Duty Zombies Civil War happening before Black Ops 6. And by the way, I did not make this thumbnail. Somebody else made it, all right? Bruh. But man, the redemption, the Dr. Disrespect story, right? Apparently, Dr. Disrespect is also hyping up his comeback. I will make a dedicated video for this one, folks. But Dr. Disrespect, he need to actually have a video out like Mr. T likes to fight. Those of you that have not heard the drama, man, what else can I say, bro? Like, he went crazy. My guy, he was literally on round 99, okay? Red screen, no perks, hit like crazy by zombies, no perkaholic, no near-death experience or nothing like that, and he still clutched it! He still clutched it! We gotta talk about this crap, okay? We got the homie Noah J, or I shouldn't be saying homie, because after what JC revealed, or I should say after what Lex revealed about JC and Noah J456, the community saying, these bozos, these things were the real Shadow Man from the Black Ops 3 days, man. Yeah. Like, this is crazy, man. If you guys have been following the story, well, you have been following the story. If you haven't been, well, you better find out. Like the video if you gotta normalize hearing both sides. Dislike the video if, hey, accusations means you're guilty. <laughs> We're gonna get into it guys, buckle in, crack your knuckles, put your seat belts on because this drama absolutely is crazy. Now I gotta start it from the, the beginnings, okay, as uh, one gentleman once said. Now, here's the thing, I did hear the drama with Mr. T-Lexify, basically Mr. T-Lexify was in a relationship with this chick out here, and this chick called uh, Mr. T-Lexify a PDF file, that's like the new wave right now that I'm seeing, right? It's like, you wanna cancel somebody, just accuse them of PDF file and everybody would believe you. So that happened. Of course, we had the Dr. Disrespect story. He put out his statement and yeah, that was crazy, right? Now, Mr. T Lexify drama hit around the same time as Dr. Disrespect. So his story hit, he put out his statement, he got canceled and we covered all of that drama. And now uh, he is actually hyping up his comeback and I really hope he has redemption like the homie Mr. T Lexify because right now, man, er, er, like this is, uh, this picture is a real symbol, okay? This is a metaphorically speaking. This is Mr. Mr. T likes fire right now, right now. The community is holding him high right now, okay? He had one of his uh, redemption moments because Sigas be like, hey, pointing fingers left and right. Sigas were pointing fingers before this moment, but my boy had one of his uh, one of his moments. He got that redemption, okay? And I, uh, quite frankly, though, I really hope Dr. Disrespect also get his redemption. Uh, albeit, he shows the receipts and we see the evidence and we see the real evidence and it's not that bad. And quite literally, I used to pray for times like these, man. It's always a good day whenever some sucker can uh, come back from it, right? Like, it's always a good feeling when somebody's accused of terrible things and then later on, they, they fight it and it, it happens to be that they were innocent, okay? It, it's absolutely crazy and I want to play you a bunch of clips in this video as well. So, Mr. D likes to accused of PDF files stuff uh, from his ex. Now, when I heard the story, like I said, we had Dr. Disrespect drama, Mr. Beast drama as well, right? It was crazy. So, didn't have time to cover. And secondly, I was 50-50 with the story. I was like, I'm gonna, I need to wait to hear Lex's side because just like, guys, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's appearance, but when you look at Lex's ex, I mean, I, I was seeing red flags, bruh. I was seeing red flags. Why? Because uh, stuff like that has happened to one of my buddies IRL, right? Of course, like, you know, my buddy, he's uh, 18 plus, the chick he was dating was 18 plus, but I have firsthand set, uh, seen or experienced the fallout, man, and I, I have seen what it does to a brother out there, okay? Like, I'm, I'll just keep it real. If you learned one thing from this video, control your dragon, folks. Control your dragons, don't let it go in the dark tunnels. Chase your dreams, don't chase the pompom, man. That's a, that's what I gotta say, brothers. That's what I gotta say. A lot of a lot of young men taken way too quick, man. A lot of young men uh, or a lot of older men also get easily taken advantage of nowadays. And uh, this is uh, Smith Place. Somebody else made this uh, <laughs> uh, image. I did not make this image, but uh, Mr. T, uh, no, Mr. T likes by accuser PDF file stuff, right? Then you got the Smith Place, right? Smith Place is one of the best YouTube friend, uh, although I'm not entirely sure if uh, he is uh, he was or he is a uh, best friend of Mr. T Lex I don't know. I thought he was his best buddy. Now I don't think he is anymore. Uh, maybe perhaps he was uh, or he is uh, or was his uh, not necessarily IRL best friends, but more like a best YouTube friend. But now, I mean, we're finding out what's going on. Apparently, Mr. Uh, what we're hearing allegedly. 
I still am gonna wait a little bit to hear his response, but man, this is such a snake behavior because what we're now finding out is that Smith plays, JC backfire, Noah J456, right? All of these so-called Mr. T Lexify's friend believed Mr. T Lexify's ex, but they didn't even heard Mr. T Lexify's side to begin with. How pathetic is that, bruh? Like, they didn't even want it to hear his side. They were like, okay, now you're a PDFL. Whatever she's saying is 100% genuine. Yasukas were supposed to be his friend, though. Like, damn, and especially uh, this guy, right? Patrick, uh, the Smith plays. And I grew up watching this guy, man. I love this guy, too. I love this guy. Uh, and I grew up watching Mr. T-Lex as well. And uh, yeah, he has been an inspiration, absolutely. I uh, Back in the days when I would do Zombies content, Call of Duty Zombies content. And today, out of all the days, we had Black Ops 6 Zombies gameplay. And it does look good. We made a video on it earlier. Now, the Smith Plays made a video on Mr. T Lexify, all right? And later on, after Mr. T Lexify dropped his response video, and he, Mr. first of all, Mr. T Lexify cleared his name, all right? Like, he dropped insane amount of evidence, okay? And crazy, man, the comment section, I mean, mwah, the comment section is the best part about this video. And of course, uh, the, the video itself as well. And you see the genuine emotion uh, put into this video, and you truly see what this man went through like send love to mr t like spy man like this man went through hell and i want to play you like a couple of uh uh clips here if you have uh, best friends or you have friends in your life this uh section that he put out it it's gonna hit home man it's gonna hit home like now first of all let me actually play you this and then i'll get back to the the smith plays uh bit in a second all right roll a serious claim where i'd raped my ex-girlfriend reagan the okay. statement made by her is completely inappropriate and false. I can absolutely, without a doubt, confirm that everything intimate we did together was consensual and of age. There is absolutely no real proof showing otherwise. As well, in all the photos she took of us during this completely terrible time, it would not make sense as to why a supposed victim of rape would then take multiple photos yeah. and videos with their abuser being happy and smiling. Yeah, I heard this point last night when I was watching his video for the first time. And yeah, absolutely, man. Guys, don't chase the pom pom, man. Like, chase your dreams. And like, listen, when I first saw it, uh, not trying to like attack anybody's uh, uh, appearance there. But damn, bro. Like, Mr. T likes if I also, like, he fell for it. He fell for it. Let's be real, okay? He made mistakes. Absolutely. He's not clean. Uh, nobody's perfect, man. Nobody's perfect. But like, damn, bro. This is what pom pom does to a man, bro. Like, uh, control your dragons, folks. Control your dragons. Like, this man's entire livelihood got ruined, though. You know, there are still people out there that probably not have seen these uh, his response video and are still, be are still believing the, the chick, right? Damn, man. A lot of uh, innocent men careers get ruined and then friendships get ruined over that crap man that's that's just insane bruh and, and patrick smith of course uh, he the craziest part this guy who used to be best friend uh, i still want to be very clear like maybe he's gonna put out his response video later on and we're gonna hear like the other side I imagine like it turns out lex was lying in his response video i don't believe that because he has shown like a lot of evidence and they like, this is an al almost a half yeah half an hour long video he put out and he has cleared his name with evidence and it seems genuine as well but if somehow you know some weird way it turns out that it, it was all fake that would be crazy okay that would be crazy but what we're now finding out his best friend didn't even want it to hear his side crazy and then he responded by saying this uh, after lex put out his uh, response video i just want to clarify that jc has never cheated on his girl jc has nothing to do with this i have known lex's side for years and i do not have and and i do not and have never defended reagan i stand by what i said in this video damn bro okay so that's what he said that's what he said but wait for it reagan also then proceeded to post these photos and videos on social media I had told her that I did not want photos of us on my Instagram because I had felt we were too young at the time, which she got absolutely furious about. Reagan had a- Now, for, for context, from what I'm hearing, Lex was 17 and she was 15. Two years gap, right? Two years gap. And of course, uh, surprise, surprise, at one point, Lex would be 18 and she would be 16. Uh, so people are calling him a PDF file over that as well. That's insane, man. There are actual real PDF files out there. And nowadays, anybody, I guess, can accuse you of that crap. Now, I'm not justifying it. Uh, justifying what Lex did. He should not should have known better. He shouldn't have been in a relationship. But 
man over a two-year gap people are calling me a pedophile that that's crazy though you know what i'm saying like this is a career ending uh uh, uh career ending label let's just put it that way the kink in regards to the word rape which he got absolutely furious about. Reagan had a kink in regards to the word rape and had a tendency in throwing it around a lot, which can be seen in her diary and multiple text messages. Reagan's accusation of grooming is once again utterly false. The only reason Reagan started calling me a groomer was when she started cheating on me with Lawrence. Damn. Reagan had told Lawrence that Lex was an adult and Reagan was a minor when we first met, which is also false. Lawrence used this information as an attempt to get her to expose me for financial gain. She had never once called me a groomer or a pedophile until she met Lawrence. She constantly used these fake ideas Lawrence gave her as a way to manipulate me when she did not get what she wanted. This is evident in Reagan's tweets where she repeatedly posted how she wanted to share her story throughout the years after 2021 when Reagan and Lawrence met. While she was publicly hinting at exposing me, Reagan privately demanded money and threatened to expose me on Twitter if I did not comply. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, for context, Reagan uh, was uh, his ex, like this chick right here. So yeah, and uh, this man was blackmailed. This man apparently spent a lot of money and apparently from uh, what uh, I've seen the entire video and from what he shows in the video, he spent like thousands of dollars on, on her, man. That's crazy, bro. Like, damn, bro. Like... You know what I'm saying, like, bruh, like, that, man, like, I feel bad, bruh, like, you know what I'm saying, like, this man was taken advantage of, bruh, big time, bro. Her sole purpose was to scare me into giving her money by using these words as a threat to destroy my career. I knew I did nothing wrong, and I always tried to show her love. I attempted multiple times to tell Reagan's mother about these scenarios and even tried to explain that our relationship could not have been statutory rape as everything was handled legally. It was not because I committed this crime that I was explaining this to her. It's because I was clarifying what she believed had happened, which did not occur. This fear is why I continue to give- And for context, I remember when this tweet uh, went up Basically, we heard the story that Lex was uh, threatening uh, his ex Reagan's mom over this stuff, and it really uh, made Lex look really bad. It really made him look bad in that scenario, right? But now you're hearing his side right now, and I always say, man, like there's the left side, right? I guess uh, in this case, uh, the Reagan side, right? There's all the truth is always kind of like in the middle, right? You got uh, Lex's side, you got the Reagan side. The truth is kind of like in the middle, and now we're hearing his side as well. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Give her money and why she never officially filed a police report. It was all to extort my online image. Another serious accusation against me is that I groped my ex-girlfriend at a Z house party. The video she cites as evidence is misleading as we were already in a public consensual relationship, which can be seen in numerous social media posts where she is showing me off and bragging about how much she loves being in a relationship with me. Nobody yeah. at the Z house ever witnessed any sexual abuse as this simply did not occur. I, I had to pause this video a billion times when I was watching last night, okay? <laughs> because he was throwing like message there, message there. Yeah, so he is like, he really took time to document everything and, and uh, prove and all that, right? And what did she do apparently? Just throwing accusations after accusation after accusation. Just shout out all of that on the internet. And this man apparently was hospitalized according to his own word, uh, taken from what, what's that consider, but, uh, but I believe him, right, man, I believe him, I believe him, man, you, come on, man, like, this is, this is, this, I, I watched the entire video, this is why I'm saying all that, uh, maybe you're not familiar with the story, but now you're getting familiar, so your take is probably gonna be a bit different, so I definitely recommend you check out, like, his entire response video, he shows, like, a lot of evidence, but this is the part that I wanted to specifically talk about, and then there's like uh, this video as well that I will go over in a second, all right? Kurt, this includes the oral rape accusation that never happened. Reagan, who was coherent and filming these videos, was seen laughing and sticking her tongue out and recording these videos happily. She has provided no proof or documentation of any discomfort and then later asked when she could come and see me again. During Damn. the Z House party. Damn, like, did you even know, like, did you know that an actual, this is pathetic, man. There are real R word victims out there, right? This point that Lexus brought, bro, like anybody with a functioning brain can understand and see so she accused this man pdfl r word 
And then she's like laughing about it and she's like, yeah, I was, I was R word, I was R word, this and that. I mean, a real victim doesn't ever do that, bro. Like, damn, what are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about, man? Crazy, bro. Party, when my friends first met Reagan, she had asked me to lie about her age. As seen in photos, she would constantly lie to people about her age and even admitted that when we first met, she lied and told me that she was 16. She also found it hot AF to date older guys and stated that at a young age, she knew she wanted to be with an older man. Reagan never mentioned having a problem with our two year age gap relationship. It is very important to note that when my friends first met Reagan, Reagan had asked me to lie to them about her age. She even lied to me about her age. Damn. Her claim that I used an escape room passport to lie to my friends about her age is entirely false. She was the one who forged her own passport with her own fake ID, and I had told her to go outside and not participate in the escape room as it was 18 and over. Reagan decided to lie to join the escape room. Reagan had never used this to prove anyone about her age contrary to her claims. Pat or the Smith plays mm, had stated in his response that I had been hiding why I went to my cousins, but this is not true. I did go to my cousins, but I also did see Reagan as well. Reagan also claims that I lured her in with gifts, which is entirely false. She was the one begging to come to the house and see me as all her gifts were requests that I had purchased for her since we were in a relationship. In Reagan's Google document, she lied about me forcing kinks onto her. Reagan requested to be called by these kinks. Man. She fantasized about being a little and calling me daddy. These were all her own personal kinks that she wanted me to participate in. Damn. Reagan also stated how she blamed me for her lack of education, which is false. The evidence shows that she bought marijuana underage to skip school, which is a situation that I had no involvement in as I was not even in the country. Another Another important thing to mention is that Reagan was an obsessive fan of mine. She fetishized me before I even knew who she was. I mm. never used my influence to engage with her. She was the first person to message me and enact any sort of a relationship. The claim that she was not interested in doing intimate things with me and felt repulsed while we we're in a consensual public relationship is just complete. Just chilling, eating a banana and pretending it's your, okay, damn man false. Reagan was the one begging me for intimacy even when I had told her that I wanted to wait and not rush anything as we were so young. I would like to apologize to anybody that has been affected by the situation in a negative manner. Specifically, I would like to formally apologize to Pat or the Smith Plays and everyone involved at the Z House where Reagan made me lie about her age to you. There was never any sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape that happened during this time. I'd also like to apologize to Merck Music and Corinna as I was not talking about them being minors, but them being engaged since the message Reagan had used was taken out of context. However, Damn. I would like to state, Pat, that I did send you a message privately on your Twitter before you made this statement public, in which you saw, but you chose not to respond and hear my side of events and Reagan's roommate's side of events. You not wanting to hear anything I had to say and painting my ex-girlfriend in a benevolent light when there's evidence of her clearly being a pedophile was a direct punch to my gut yeah. after calling you. Yeah, man, that th this one, this one, I guess uh, a lot of us can uh, relate to because uh, I'm, I'm assuming like a lot of you guys uh, got your... Uh, best friends as well and this is one of those things right like for example if the entire world call you this or that you would assume that your friends would be like uh yeah we, we want to hear your side you, you know what i mean right and it's it's it's, it's crazy that uh they, they they didn't that that's 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 crazy man you my best friend for many years you had said you had looked at all the evidence but conveniently skipped out on how reagan is a definitive pedophile proven by her own diary and words i don't want to hear about a lack of trust where nothing bad happened when you did not listen to noah's ex-wife martina about noah's scandalous behavior in 2021 which did not allow for a third z house to happen noah there we go. invited all of us to texas in september 2021 for a third z house yet nothing was ever filmed because noah cheated on martina in 2021 at EDC oh, and you and JC were utterly supportive of him in Texas, even inviting him to cry at our own Airbnb without my consent. It boggles my mind that you would be supportive of a man who blatantly cheated on his wife for fun, yet would. Uh, uh, yeah, that that's crazy. And listen, I'm not gonna 
uh, Lex, uh, here's the thing, right? Lex know these guys in real life, okay? Like, they were his buddies, right? Like, kind of like best YouTuber friends. I guess the, the keyword here is YouTuber friends, right? There we go. But but still, Lex, uh, I, I guess, uh, you, you know, they were friends, though. Like, damn, so this uh, definitely hurt the man, and I... And I feel him on this one. That that's crazy that they didn't want it to hear his side. They defended this man, but not him. Now, I'm, of course, like as a third man here, like I'm not gonna be going crazy at Noah J because uh, you know whatever he did is between him, this person he cheated with, and his ex-wife, and between God if he believes in God. If he don't believe in God, then it's between him, uh, the, the ex, and the person he cheated with. Now Noah J apparently put out a statement, didn't once mention Lex's name didn't necessarily apologize and, and, and you know what i mean right like that that's it's whatever didn't really talk about the elephant in the room he was just like on the sidelines we like yeah yeah this uh yeah guys yeah it happened it happened we were not compatible he was talking about him and his ex-wife not compatible so guys are basically trying to find excuse to cheat but it's between him the uh, and this is a chick he cheated with and apparently she also put out uh, she also reacted on stream and she apparently was apologizing every other second but one another thing to note here is that uh Noaj apparently put out the pin comment and in the pin comment he did say he did apologize back when it happened to the person behind the scenes maybe that's true maybe that's not i'm not sure if it really feels like that he must have apologized so that's what i'm saying it's between him the ex-wife and the person he cheated with and if he believes in god then it's also between him and god right like i'm nobody to judge him but you know this situation happened lex dropped his name and then he name drops uh, another one not share the same sentiment to me when I was obviously in an abusive relationship that I could not escape from. JC and Noah are not exempt from this either. I had moved to the same apartment complex as JC in 2022 and even shared about my abuse with him and he did absolutely nothing and actively avoided me. This Damn. is why you unfollowed me on Twitter two years ago. Noah had also said he would visit me, but never came to my place once. JC, you couldn't even spend 10 minutes to sign a recommendation letter for my visa after all we've done together over the years. If you want to- for, for context, JC Backfire and Mr. T Lexified, they were collaborating like crazy back in the or early days. Mr. T Lexified was huge at the time, uh, and he was pulling like crazy viewership. He still is uh, like one of the face of the zombies community, but zombies has slowed down. But with Black Ops 6 zombies reveal, it looks like that it's gonna be bigger again, and I hope it is bigger again, and I wish this man uh, success, man. I wish this man even more success. He's already successful, man. Of course, this was a hiccup, and uh, I, I, I wish him nothing but the best. I wanna play you another clip as well, but, but, but the thing here is that JC Backfire was like a nobody i'm I, he wasn't nobody let's let's be real okay he wasn't nobody lex put that man out there without lex jc backfire would have been probably a nobody but still like he was talented okay i don't want to take that away from him he probably would have would have made this work out in his favor but when he said uh, when lex said we went through a lot or you know after how much we've been through and whatnot what he truly meant here was uh, all the time they spent collaborating and of course uh, stuff that they would have done behind the scenes too now the main reason I, I guess i can speak on many zombie fans or the zombies community the main reason we found out or the first time we found out jc backfire was through mr t likes the five videos all right and uh, they had really good videos and jc backfire was actually very very good uh, and was a good camera personality as well good voice and they had very good content i have to agree with that but also facts are facts man without mr t lexify jc backfire 99 wouldn't say 99 percent but more like let's just say realistically maybe 60 percent 70 percent he wouldn't be where jc backfire is today you know having a successful channel having a successful twitch then being a game designer uh and, and working in the in this industry right absolutely without the help of lex he wouldn't and, and uh what we're now finding out this is lex's word so take of take them as you will but from what we're understanding uh, after all that jesse backfire couldn't even spend 10 minutes to sign his like visa stuff or like i guess the legal stuff for the states which i don't understand personally because yeah but 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 i i get the the gist of it but 10 minutes to sign a recommendation letter for my visa after all we've okay, done okay yeah, a recommendation letter for the visa yeah done together over the years if you want to trust my ex-girlfriend so much here's a post reagan made about seeing you cheat on emmy with her sister kate at coachella everybody in our Damn. group saw your inexcusable actions and were utterly shocked that you would be sensually touching your girlfriend's sister in front of all of us while emmy would no I, I gotta be fair here okay like these are also accusations now lex has cleared his name all right he has cleared his 
name so far, all right? But we gotta be fair in the situation. What Lex is saying is that his is his ex saying that apparently, apparently, JC backfire cheated on uh, his girl's uh, with uh, his girl's sister. If that makes sense. So these are not Lex's words in a way. I guess these are Lex's words, but he's saying like he's kind of like the messenger in this one, right? He's saying that his ex saw you do that, and his ex uh, apparently. She, she loves writing diaries, man. She loves writing, taking notes. And this is one of those pictures that I spent, uh, that I put out on the channel. In the, this is one of those memes, but it's so true, man. I put out on the community page, guys. Uh, wait for the next clip I'm gonna show you here. Fun fact, a majority of archaeologists are women due to their natural ability to dig up the past. Ain't that, ain't that the goddamn truth? Ain't that the goddamn truth? And you know what? Because of this, because uh, she loves writing diaries and all that, Lexa uh, used that and came back with like a sucker punch right there. You feel what I'm saying? He went with the uppercut. Not even talking about the sucker punch, but the uppercut out here. So, uh, but but still, gotta be fair. Gotta be fair. JC Backfire, Noah J, both of them, <laughs> they were the real shadow man after all, man. But still, gotta be fair. These are accusations. Accusations against JC though. JC has yet to respond. Uh, of course, Noah J has responded, and, and the chick that uh, Noah J cheated with on his wife also did respond. And it feels like that, yeah, those were not accusations. That that was the truth. Oh, but again, I'm nobody to judge him because he cheated with a, a consenting adult, uh, and that's between Noah, God, if he believes God, if he doesn't, hey, it's between him, his wife, and his ex. All right, I'm nobody to judge him on that part. All right, roll it was not there. I don't think PlayStation Studios wants to associate with a cheater who defends pedophiles such as my ex-girlfriend Reagan. I guess it Damn. makes sense considering Noah also invites pedophiles to his Very own DJ man. sets. This is incredibly Sheesh. disingenuous of all of you and makes sense why each of you would side together and defend my pedophilic ex-girlfriend while never contacting me once and dropping me at the whim of a hat. Things have never been the same with me and any of these original zombie YouTubers since this point in time and I will never be working with them ever again. I will also not be- Oh, understandable, brother. Understandable, apologizing to my abuser and harasser, Reagan McNulty, as I have finally escaped from you and will never allow you to ever control me and degrade me. Don't chase the pom pom, guys. Don't chase the pom pom. I want to play just a little bit. I know we're running late. We're running late, but a little bit. Mr. T-Lexify. Uh, shout, uh, shout out to the homie Tim Hansen. Shout out to the homie Mr. T-Lexify. Uh, this gentleman right here. God bless him, man. Wish, uh, may God bless him. I, fellow COD Zombies YouTuber, collaborator over the years, inspiration for me starting my channel, and above all of that, friend has been accused Damn. recently of some heinous crimes by his ex-girlfriend on Twitter. The cliff notes of it is, Lex, as an 18-year-old, was in a public- Yeah, if you're watching Tim Hansen, bro, I apologize, gotta go fast here, okay? Cause I'm running out of time, brother. It's not you, it's my bad, it's my bad. Consensual relationship with a 16-year-old, a two and a half year age gap to be exact. Is it a little strange? Yes. Is it something I would have personally done? No, but I think we would all be lying to ourselves if we said we didn't know the one senior in high school that was dating a sophomore or a freshman. It isn't ideal, but again, as long as it is consensual and the parents of both parties agree to it, I certainly wouldn't go as far as to say that it is philia. That word gets thrown around way yeah. too much. As a father of two toddlers, I understand more than most the importance of protecting the kids, but a 16 Yeah, 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 that, that's the thing, guys. Like, I'm not condoning it, okay? But yeah, keep your dragons inside, brothers. Uh, don't let the dr don't let your dragon control you. You gotta be the one in charge, man. Control your dragons. Don't let it control you, okay? Don't chase the pom pom. Chase your dreams. That's what I stand for. And uh, yeah, that's what I preach, man. And uh, yeah, don't let the, your dragon control you. All right. But facts are facts, man. Like you, you cannot. Like come on, man. Like that. The, the the this word is thrown around very loosely nowadays. Being an 18 year old in high school. It's not some federal case if both of the parties agreed and it was consensual and none of the parents had any problem with it. Philia is way too far of a bridge to cross. But she, along with all of her followers, ran with the story, embellished it, and lied a ton along the way. Then it started catching more and more steam, and Lex was subsequently labeled a file. There are actually fewer things she didn't lie about than what she did lie about, and that has been debunked in what we're about to talk about. When these accusations surfaced, I was deflated, to say the least. I didn't want to touch this with a 10-foot pole for several reasons, the primary of which being that it was, and still potentially is, an ongoing story yeah, with yeah, more yeah. evidence to come. But I also happen to yeah. be in a unique position because I have a personal relationship with Lex. I'm not some Twitter goblin who has no association with him and has no problem watching him burn without any of the ongoing evidence being released. Which is, by the way, why I have no problem deleting this video if more damning evidence comes out. But when I uploaded yeah, the video, yeah. I felt I at least... Uh, like, if somehow, um, you, you know, Lex has cleared his name, right? Okay, right now, like, this is this is how the community is feeling, okay? This is how I feel about it, too. This is Lex, and the community is like, hey, man, you're the hero, you're the hero. Based on what we're hearing and based on every evidence that he showed in this video, 
absolutely that's where we are right now but if it turns out like tomorrow some other stuff some crazy stuff comes out some you know uh undeniable evidence comes out that the lex is actually what they're saying he is then of course like yeah like i'll it would be crazy but i don't think that would happen he has cleared his name needed to acknowledge the situation to establish that i wasn't actively ignoring it by just simply saying aside from not really being on this godforsaken app anyways i've been and still am processing the lex bs so far it's clear they both contributed to an abusive abnormal relationship and i don't condone any of it i hope he's working on a proper response, response. legalities <clears throat> then gets offline indefinitely for his own sake if nobody else's. It's a developing story, mostly he said, she said, so far. Yeah. And I'm not here to give some hot take. Just assess the information as it spills. Disappointed. Because up until this point, it was a he said, she said, them just throwing stones at each other without much concrete evidence surfacing. Among other things, each of them dropped comprehensive Google Docs of their allegations towards the other person, and it was kind of impossible to take what either of them were saying totally at face yeah. value. And for the most part, yeah, Lex yeah, yeah. was quiet. Not that, 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 that's essentially where I was at. Like, I was 50-50, I was getting red flags as well, and I didn't really look super deep into it. I was under the assumption that more stuff would happen, Lex would probably put out a video, and he did. He, he did, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I waited a little bit on this one, man, because uh, it, it fell off. Now, of course, with the Dr. Disrespect situation, of course, he had, he has put out his statement, so that's where we had. But now, he's hyping up his comeback, too, man! With the, with the, with, with, you, you know what I'm saying? With the, this kind of implies, or at least that's what the community is now believing, that this uh, implies that he's going to be revealing the Twitch whispers, the messages, right? And if he does reveal that, and if it turns out that those messages weren't as bad as, uh, uh versus what they were saying, then he's probably gonna get his redemption moment as well and i also hope for a good outcome damn man i don't want to see like this pdf file stuff happening man you know i also don't want to see like uh people uh live livelihoods uh, livelihoods being ruined like that too bruh you know what i'm saying not really saying much because behind the scenes he was working on legalities and he was working on a proper response i think it's only fair that you give him a little bit of time to make the yeah. response let's yeah, say yeah. for the sake of argument that i like the majority of people took everything she said as fact didn't look into it, wasn't skeptical in any way, shape, or form. Lex is a file now. I just assumed that everything she said was the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and everything mm. Lex said was a lie, conversely. I would not have been able to be friends with Lex. I would have never talked to him again. There is no universe yeah. where anybody could have justified those things being true. But they aren't. I am not above my morals, regardless of whether or not you and I are friends. If it turned out that these accusations were proven true with concrete evidence, I would have never associated with Lex again. I would have simply cut that tie and moved on with my life. But to be analogous with, gee, I don't know, the court of law for just a second, it is innocent until proven guilty. I'm going to say it again. But but on the Twitters and on the online, man, like, it's uh, guilty till proven innocent. That's uh, how it is. But guys... Send love to this gentleman out here because uh, he talked about a lot of stuff in this video. Uh, check out his video. Drop a like on his video too, man. Give him a follow. Give him a sub. Send I uh, s uh, tell him I sent you his way, man. Because uh, uh, yeah, I, I, during this video he also did say that he was hospitalized as well. Understandably, man. Like uh, after seeing all the hate that that went uh, at his way, uh, because yeah, I, I, I've seen those tweets. I've seen those tweets. Everybody was disowning him like crazy. This this was insane, man. Uh, this one's on another level, and when you watch this video, you truly see uh, uh, the, the, the the feelings and what he went through as well, even though he was reading, but you see the emotion, the real emotion, and of course, bigger than all that, the evidence he presented, undeniable so far, alright? Check out this video on the screen, this one recently came out from the Dr. Disrespect story, I hope he also clears his name, and I hope for a good outcome as well, for him as well, for the sake of the community, uh, for the, the goodwill of the community I guess, right, check out this video on the screen. On the left though, we had some zombies gameplay earlier, man, like, and it was actually good, I, I did like it, I did like it, did it suck though? Uh, check out the video, and I'll see you right there.